Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we will go ahead and take a question from CUET 2022 paper. Okay, let us see what uh, the question is. This is question number thirty. It says the angel curve for a given good is. So, let us just try to write some points related to angel curve. This will help us revise angel curve also. The angel curve. is a graphical depiction of how changes in income lead to change in demand of good. So the angel curve basically tells us as to what is uh, the relation between income changes and the demand of good, okay? So just think about this, right? See, when we talk about the, about the changes in income and when we talk about the budget line, the slope of budget line is Px by Py, right? Whenever my income changes, it, un it is unaffecting the budget line is unaffected by income in terms of slope. So when income increases or decreases, the slope of the budget line will not change. What will change will be a shift of the budget line. So it will, it will not become steeper or flatter. It will shift to the right or left depending on whether there is increase in income or decrease in income. So, if we talk only and only about this, this is my initial budget line, right? This is my initial budget line. And uh, this is M by Px point. This is M by Py point. And initially, I am here. Okay? This is my equilibrium point. Tangent. Tangency condition of indifference curve and budget line. Now, there is increase in income of the consumer. And let us say, beta, that good X, that is an inferior good. So, what is the property of inferior good? The property of inferior good is that when income increases, the demand of the good decreases. So, if let's say that good X is an inferior good, so, first of all, what will happen? Income is increasing. Jab income increase hogi, what is going to happen to the budget line? Budget line will shift outwards. So, budget line has shifted outwards. What is going to happen to the demand of good X? It should decrease. So, if demand of good X is initially here at X1, demand of good X will decrease to X2. So, demand of good X will decrease maybe to X2. This is point X2. Demand of good X will decrease. This will be your new point. When I join, when I draw an IC through it, beta, this is my second IC. Okay. This is my new equilibrium, E dash. Okay. Now, if I join these two equilibrium points together, if I join these two equilibrium points together, this is called, beta, income offer curve. Income offer curve is shown when on both the axes you have goods. Yaha par bhi good hai, yaha par bhi good hai. Income ka effect hum shift ke through dikha rahe. We are showing the effect of income through shift of the budget line. And when my budget line is shifting, then the demand of good X is decreasing. So that is my income offer curve. It is locus of all points of equilibrium. Yaha pe bhi hum tangency condition pe the, yaha pe bhi. In both cases, we were at equilibrium. It is a locus of all equilibrium. Is this clear? Now, 
इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ शोइंग बोथ द गुड्स यहाँ पे तो गुड एक्स था और एक्स वन ले लो या एक्स ले लो और यहाँ पे लेट से गुड वाई था इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट आई जस्ट टेक गुड एक्स बेटा and i take income here so what happened demand of good x has decreased from x1 to x2 demand has decreased what has happened to income at x1 i had less income and at x2 i had more income income to badi hai na so at x2 at x2 i have more income at x1 i have less income these are the two points that i get If I join these two points, then I get my angel curve. So angel curve basically it is locus of all points of income and demand. यहाँ पे income of a curve was between two goods, but this is between income and demand. And we know that as income increases, demand decreases when x is an inferior good. So it is going to be downward sloping. So what is the answer to this question? It is going to be the angel curve will become downward sloping. So what is going to be the answer to this question? The angel curve for अच्छा ये हो गया Giffen good ठीक है अब Giffen good की भी बात कर लेते हैं sorry. So let's write down that Giffen goods. Are all given goods are inferior goods? मतलब अगर एक गुड गिफन हो गया then it is definitely inferior. All inferior are not given. Suppose मैं कहूं गुड x inferior है ये given हो भी सकता है given नहीं भी हो सकता It can be given, it cannot be given. But if I say good x is given. then it is definitely inferior so if a good is a given good if the question is asking about a given good if a good is a given good it means that good is also an inferior good for sure and if a good is an inferior good then its angel curve should be downward sloping so answer to this question will be negatively slope so the answer is a it is negatively sloped okay